Well, welcome back to the show. Today's video we are examining different kind of knife works out there and finding out which one is the best for you to get. The first one we are checking out is the slip joint knife. The slip joint knife lock is pretty much one that when you open it up it just slips open and then it slips close. What makes this one of the most dangerous type of knife locks out there is that if you're walking with it, you're doing stuff, let's say you're doing like this, you accidentally move it backwards, it will actually can close up on your fingers and get you totally hurt. So this makes this a very dangerous knife for you to actually use. The next one is the Garbo Paraflame. And this one has a framework built right in here. Right inside the side of it is actually where it locks up, right here. And you move the frame just a little bit and then you can close it up. It is an okay lock. It's not one of the best locks out there because if something goes wrong with the frame and specifically the biggest issue with the frame locks is if they don't snap. So see you have to heal the snap if you don't actually heal the snap what actually can happen is like this it didn't actually close and there's always the danger you're walking and it can actually go and slip right on your hand and you can get hurt so that's the whole problem with the framework all by itself and this one the biggest problem with this specific framework is it is part of actual the frame so if something happens to the integrity of the actual frame it messes it up so this is a pretty cheap knife altogether next one is the rhino arc which is very similar to the framework and it does the same exact thing but the rhino arc is actually built inside the actual frame inside in it so unlike the framework which is right built on the outside it's built on the inside and over here you have to do is just to move it just a little bit and you close it. This has the same exact weakness as the framework because if you don't close it all the way it can accidentally slip against you. So you have to listen to it when you hear that sound that means it's good to go. The other problem with those kind of locks is that sometimes they just fail. They're more likely to fail on themselves and sometimes when you do this it actually does not lock in even although it makes this sound so you have to sometimes check just to make sure so those are not the best kind of knife locks out there the other kind of knife locks out there is the magnetic one and the magnetic ones are actually pretty well the equinox has them and this specific one comes from Weatherman and this one is the free T4 there was a free T2 and there was other kind of free tools and they all use magnetic locks as you keep on moving you'll hear the sound and that's when the magnetic lock gets engaged here to disengage you just press on here and disengage the magnet and you can close it up pretty easily the next type of lock here is called the ball lock the ball lock is built right inside of the actual knife itself and this one right here, the difference between it is that it is built right here. So those are the more expensive knife that have something known as the bow lock in them. As you keep on moving it, the lock just moves by itself and it just turns on automatically. So all you have to do is just keep moving it until you hear the small sound tick and that means the lock gets engage this one right here is one of my favorite it's the Gripterian by Benchmade and this is a little bit expensive on those kind of knives are going pretty expensive because that's how they go about so how do you disengage the bar lock you pretty much just press on over here and you close it to, to engage it keep on moving until you hear that sound disengage just move it down and you can just close it up the next type of knife lock is right here which is this one 
is the zoom by Spidalco. This is a Delica 4, by the way. As you keep on moving it, the knife lock is going to engage all by itself on this side right here. You can see right there, it just comes out right on this right here. So this is the lock back kind of a knife. The actual lock is in the back. All you have to do is just to press on it pretty hard. And it moves it right here. And now all you have to do is just to close it up. And that's it. So this is an interesting type of uh, knife lock. And it is a little bit more on the expensive side of the knives themselves that have it. Mostly spider coils are the ones that are known to using this lock because this thing is so tiny and thin. And that's why they use this specific kind of lock because there's no place for something like this to put over here. So it's pretty much a space issue than anything else. The next type of a knife lock is the compression lock and this one is patented by Spadaco as well. This one is the little native. And in this one, as you keep moving it, you hold that sound, the snap sound. So in the back, there is the compression over here. You press and you compress it just to the side and it falls down. This is one of the most interesting type of knives. It is in more expensive kind of knives as well. As you press on it, it disengages by itself. It just moves it down. Let's go ahead and do this again. And it just falls down and you move it down. To open it, just keep on moving it until you hear that sound. So pretty much those are the different kind of knife locks we have here for you. They're all interesting and they're all making different kind of sound as you open them up. And some of them are easier to engage than others as you can hear it from this. And because of that, because of the different kind of knife locks, uh, some of them you have to use two fingers in order for you to open it up. Others you just need to just keep swiping it and it makes this interesting kind of sound as the knife gets locked in. Of course, we have different kind of knives that can open and close, like this one, for example, Otto. It can move right here and open up. This one also features the flame lock, uh, the, the rhino lock right here, actually. That's a rhino lock, not a flame, because it's not part of the flame. And different kind of knife with different kind of locks. The most one that you're going to encounter in almost all the cheaper knives is pretty much either a flame lock or a liner lock that is right here on the side that you keep on moving it and to close them down. So you can see that almost all my knives have the original flame lock. All the more expensive knives have the different locks over here and they have more sophisticated techniques and versions to them. Every one of the cheap ones and under 100 would actually be that kind of a knife work to them. So if you're going and you, you see more expensive and more interesting kind of knife works out there, that means this knife is more expensive and it has more sophisticated way to open and close. It also means it can take more pressure and heavy duty use for it as well. Thank you.